Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm showing you another unboxing and yes, it is another Caveco pen. I'm bringing here this 2022 Victorinox Alox Knife Special Edition. It's not a grey pen, it is a black one, but I don't have a Victorinox, uh, a black Alox Victorinox knife. So let's just open it. This is a pen I got from eBay, from a seller from whom I bought before, he's from Spain and I bought from him several pens and I just have to get this one. Okay, so this is another Caveco Sport. So this one has a clip integral clip and it is a vintage Caveco Sport. You can see it says there Caveco Sport, it has that guilloche or guilloche imprint or engraving, it has the Caveco logo on top, I hope you can see it, and there it is, it is a pen that I find very nice, very small and we already know this pen. So it has an ink window, it has a blind cap and the blind cap must say something about the model number or the version of it, but I don't think it says anything, which is kind of strange, it should say something, but maybe under this lighting it will not be never perfect to see that. So, okay, it's there something engraved, but it's not what I am searching for, that number, 89 or 68, something like that. Okay, I can't find it. Let me bring the other light closer. Okay, never mind, but this is a, a piston filler, as you may see, and the piston works. I bought this one because this one is um, in working order, it is, was, this one was restored. I had one that I broke while trying to restore it, the material is very, very fragile, and it has a steel nib and I hope it is on focus for you to see it. So this is a Cavex Sport piston filler that is in working order. So it is a very nice interesting pen with that clip and the integral clip and the clip is in the middle of the facets which is kind of strange. It should be there in this place. Okay. So it is an interesting pen in my opinion and so let's go for some comparisons because I just want to show you them. I zoomed in a little bit so we have this faceted pen and I just want to show you that this pen was... I cannot put it laying down flat on this burlap. Okay. This pen was made, um, I have one here, this one has the model number on the blind cap, you can see 712, this one doesn't say anything, this one has the clip, this one doesn't, but you can just unscrew this top part and put a clip on the pen, so it is the same model, but this one is not in working order and this one is. And I just want to show you that I, al I also have, you can see this one has also a, the same kind of nib. This blind cap is very loose and it comes out and the piston is not working. But let me put it right here. And I just want to show you that I have some other vintage Cavex Sport with which are piston fillers. This is the model 12 which has this exposed nib 
you can see. You, you can clearly see where the inspiration for the modern cave exports come. You see here the other one. And this is the V12. And V12 is the same model as the 12, but instead of having an exposed nib, it has a hooded nib or a semi hooded nib. But it is the same pen overall, just with. Let me just show you. Some have green in Windows, some have blue ones. Not sure why. But you can see the same model, but one has. An exposed nib, the other one has a semi hooded one. And I also have here the a more recent model, which is the V16, which is just the evolution of those, but with the 16, with the V16 there. There was also a 16 without the V, which had the regular exposed nib. So this you you could you, it has the, the piston there and the piston is not working also in this pen let me just check it to the light no this piston is not in working condition i thought it was but it isn't um sorry for getting out of of camera these pens, I, I think they are very fragile and they are not easy to 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 repair because these materials, these celluloids are very fragile when you try to, to open them, sometimes they break. But uh, these pens have a difference, the model 12 for the model 16 is that the model 12 is like the older one that has a blind cap. And the model 16, doesn't matter if it is the V or the regular one, doesn't have a blind cap, you just really, it is just the turning knob itself that's there. So you can see it here, and we can also see that there is the modern classic sport guilloche version, which is a cartridge pen. That's the one that you find today. And Okay, all this talk just to say that I had to, I wanted to have a modern, um, not a modern, a working version of this pen because Caveco is releasing this year the new Caveco Sport with piston filler. It's not that piston fillers are my favorite kind of filling system, but Caveco Sport are my <laughs> kind of favorite model, so I need to have them. And so I thought it would make sense to have a good working condition vintage one to make proper comparisons with the newer ones that will be released. So that's why I got this one and I'm very interested in having those. Um, I, I'm really, really interested in that because we, ha we have... Th this, this is really interesting. So. Um, I think I cannot say anything that's useful anymore, just talking a little bit. I'm very excited for having a, um, a working a one in working condition. You see it's smaller than the than the modern one. I'm very curious to see how the, the new one will be. And that's it. I think this will match the collection, although my focus is for the Cavec pens that were released since the current Good Perlet administration. That's my idea. So this is all I had to show you today. I hope you enjoy it and I'll be back soon for some more videos. Bye!